Hey guys, welcome to Swift 5 Programming Lesson 1. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get set up with Xcode, and we can dive into Swift Playgrounds, which is a program inside of Xcode that lets you design and test Swift code in a more simple environment. So if you haven't yet downloaded Xcode, then head over to the Mac App Store where you can download a free copy. And if you're not using a Mac and you still want to follow along with these tutorials, there is a free resource called Online Swift Playground which will be linked in the description down below, where you can write and execute Swift code. Once you have Xcode downloaded, you can launch it and click on Get Started with the Playground. Select a blank playground and hit Next. Then you'll have to give the playground a name. So I'm just gonna call mine Swift Lesson 1 and hit Create. So this main section on the left here is where we will write all of our code and the section on the right is sort of like a preview window for the code that we have written. So you can see that there is a variable created called str that has been set equal to the text hello playground. And in this sidebar, it shows us the contents of that string. There is also a console at the bottom that we can see the results of anything that we print in playgrounds. So if I said print hello world, when I hit run, you can see that it prints the text hello world to the console. Now, if you want to change the text and theme of playgrounds, then you can go to Xcode preferences and in fonts and colors. I like to use the default dark setting as it is a bit easier to look at for longer periods, but select whichever one works best for you. So that's it for getting set up with Xcode. In the next tutorial, we will be looking at the basics and I will show you how to use variables and constants in Swift. So make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.